Narcissists steal your vibration. Everything in the universe is made up of energy that vibrates. And this is what we refer to as a vibration. Everything has a vibration. You, everything in your house, the food you eat, the music you listen to, the clothes you wear, everything has a vibration. We are all made up of energy. We're just vibrating at different frequencies. Like attracts like. And all of the energies are connected to each other. So the frequency that you are vibrating at will then determine what you attract to you. Lower vibrational frequencies are produced by negativity. When you feel anxiety, stress, hatred, anger, envy, jealousy, fear, guilt or shame, you are producing a low vibrational frequency. It can feel thick, heavy and dense, inflexible, not able to be changed or adapted to. Higher vibrational frequencies are produced by positivity. When you feel peace, love, joy, empathy, compassion, confidence or gratitude, you are producing a high vibrational frequency. It feels flexible, ready and able to change or adapt to different circumstances. You feel full of energy, enthusiasm and determination. The higher frequencies are more powerful than the lower frequencies. And when you raise your vibration, it can clear low vibrational frequencies. You can tell when you are vibrating at a higher, higher frequency. You feel good. You feel positive. And when you feel positive, you are more likely to attract positivity. You are more likely to find opportunities, people and relationships that are vibrating at the same level or frequency. But when you don't feel good about yourself, when you feel negative, you are vibrating at a lower frequency, which means that you are more likely to attract negative situations. You are more likely to attract negative people and situations that might be undesirable. Narcissists cannot raise their vibrations on their own. Our emotions have a vibration. And if you look at the emotional vibrational frequency chart, you will see that the lowest frequency is shame. Narcissists are shame based individuals who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. As I said earlier, like attracts like, but that does not mean that you were vibrating at a low frequency when they targeted you. They were attracted to your high vibrations. They wanted that. 
They wanted to use you to raise their vibrations. Targeting another shame-based individual would not benefit them in any way. They had to target someone of a high vibration. But another thing that they are looking for on their target is a shame wound. Something that they can take advantage of and use to control you. But although you may have the shame wound, you are still vibrating at a higher frequency. You may still love and accept yourself. You may be passionate or enthusiastic about life. You may be a peaceful, and compassionate person. And this is what the narcissist was looking for when they targeted you. This is something that they are attracted to. Narcissists are not attracted to other low frequency people. Although they may use them if they see an opportunity to get their needs met. They are attracted to high frequency people that have a shame wound. This is what gives them the opportunity to raise their vibration at that person's expense. When they first targeted you, they were attracted to your qualities, abilities and talents. But this soon made them feel inferior to you. Narcissists have an inferiority complex. When they observed everything that you are, it made it more obvious everything that they were not. And that is what then creates their desire and motive to lower your vibration and raise their own at your expense. The very things they admired and complimented you on in the beginning soon become the very things that they put you down for. They make you feel selfish for doing the things that you like to do. They make you feel like you're a bad person or like you can't do anything right. It's like they've torn the scab off your shame wound and all you can feel is pain and sadness. It prolongs your healing. It takes away your passion and enthusiasm. You begin to reflect on the shame. You begin to reflect on the painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. It makes you stop doing the things that you once enjoyed. You lose your peace, love and joy. And you begin to feel fear, guilt and shame. But your energy didn't just disappear. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. So what happens when the narcissist lowers your vibration is that they then take on the energy that you possessed. Your energy gets transferred into them and they use it to raise their vibration.
whenever you're happy, whenever you feel good about yourself, they can't partake because they're not on the same frequency. So they have to insult you. They have to put you down. They have to make you feel like you're doing something wrong or as though you're a bad person. Until you no longer feel happy anymore. You no longer feel good about yourself. And as soon as that happens, it then improves their mood. It makes them feel good. Because they are raising their vibration at your expense. They have stolen your energy so that they can become more like you. And that is what makes them feel good. That is what makes them feel happy. They don't destroy your happiness. Our emotions have a vibration. They are made up of energy. So they cannot be destroyed. But they can be transferred into someone or something else. And that's exactly what happens. When they lower your vibration, that energy that you possess is then transferred into them. And it then raises their vibration. They have stolen your energy and transferred their energy into you. So that you then begin to experience their emotions. And you may notice that whenever you are around someone who is of a higher frequency or a lower frequency, you will always feel however they do. Emotions are contagious. If you notice that you suddenly begin to feel fear, anger or shame, that's probably because those are the very same emotions that the narcissist you are with is experiencing. And they are trying to transfer their negative energy onto you so that they can take on your positive vibes. They want you to lose your confidence because they don't have any. They want you to lose your peace, love and happiness because they know that's something they will never experience on their own. So they have to get it from you. And it is for this reason that they will always be dependent on you. They need you to regulate their emotions. Because without you, they are forced to reflect on how worthless and insignificant they really feel. And that is why when you leave the narcissist in the past, and continue on your journey, you will begin to feel more like yourself. You will begin to feel more alive. You will feel happier than ever before. Because you can finally exist in your own energy. You can finally partake in the very emotions that you have generated from within. And you can finally live the life that you truly deserve. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. 
If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissofficoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.